Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do a time lapse in Clip Studio Paint, and I'm also going to show you how to hide the reference layer. Uh, so first you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Time Lapse, and you're going to click Record Time Lapse. Uh, I already had it selected, but uh, pretty much when you click it, it'll say that it's going to increase the size of the file. Doesn't matter, I turn off that notification. And then next you're going to want to, so I just have a, you know, just a basic outline, it's transparent in the back, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, even if you had a picture, uh, for example, I'm gonna merge this with the paper. You go over to edit and you convert brightness to opacity and it just, you know, makes it, uh, makes it as pretty much, you know, just a basic outline. And if it's a picture, I'll, I'll show you in a second what that'll look like. But uh, after you've done edit, convert brightness to opacity, you right click your reference layer and you hit selection from layer and you click create selection and once you have that all selected you go to select and convert to selection layer and i'm gonna now make this uh you know not visible the original reference layer it's created a new 50 percent selection layer and you can change the color on this layer i like to do red and i like to do 25 just because i'll show you real quick um when you're doing your tracing that it kind of appears under it despite the fact that it's over it and yeah so i'm just gonna do you know just a quick little quick little trace using my uh continuous curve tool over here and you know obviously this would be a lot easier if you just did a uh you know curve but it doesn't matter it's what tool i had it selected and so just to show you, I go over to time lapse and I hit export and you can pause this and see that, uh, let's find it. So this is the reference layer. And as soon as I turned it off and that's the first edit I made or, you know, first line I made. And then this is the final one that I drew and yeah, it pretty much made it. So, you know, whatever your reference layer is that it's not visible in the time lapse. And this works for pictures too. So I'm just gonna delete this and I'll show you. Uh, so this is just my, you know, Irvine online picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and convert brightness to opacity. And then I'm gonna right click selection from layer, create selection. And even though it looks funky, this is perfect. Now you go to selection and convert to selection layer. And now I turn this off and voila, same exact result, you know? Uh, on this particular one, you know, like a picture, you know, you can mess around with the settings. I actually think that 50% uh, is probably good for this particular picture. And we'll go over to the time lapse and export and just make sure that it disappears after that, which it does. Perfect. And, you know, I'll just draw a line just to, oop, <laughs> I gotta make a new, new roster layer. Uh, so we'll just do a line and go over to the time lapse and double check that it is good, which it is. It's right there. Perfect. So boom, goes invisible and there's the line. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I will show you just one more thing before we uh, finish up, just so you get, uh, you know, all the tools you need. If you're let's make a new roster layer. If you're drawing and you're like, wow, I really want this to be symmetrical. So you can go up to view, you can hit grid and I go to the grid settings. I hit center. And you know, if I, if you want it simplified, I do like a thousand, doesn't really matter. But this center line is really important. And what you can do is you go over to the uh, figure tool, you go up to ruler. And I like to sometimes do the symmetrical ruler and you just find the middle of that grid, uh, pull up. And now, uh, whenever you do a line, it will, you know, replicate it. So that's an option. Uh, you can also obviously do, let me find it, uh, guidelines. Like, you know, if you're, I, I prefer drawing in vector, you know, it's easier to edit and blah, blah, blah. If you're doing just, you know, it, it depends on what kind of drawing you're doing, but Having guidelines is nice because now you can, you know, add as many guidelines as you need in order to, you know, draw uh, whatever you're drawing. And like for me, for example, like, oh, I want to make sure that these, you know, are hitting the exact points in which I want them to. Like, here's a great example where I want these two points to converge. 
right on this line. And yeah, it's, uh, let me turn off the grid because we're getting a little noisy now. But, you know, guidelines, uh, symmetrical is, it's good, but honestly, you could get away with just putting a basic guideline in the center. And, you know, once you're making your video, you can reflect it. So because it's perfectly centered, it'll appear as if you're drawing symmetrically. That's kind of what I did in my short. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the fundamental basics of doing a time lapse. And yeah, so you just go over to export. Uh, you know, I like to make it original, you know, max size, max length. You hit OK and you're able to save the file and you can go into your uh, video editing software and do whatever else you want to do with that. But yeah, I, uh, I was compelled to make this video because while I was trying to make this uh, concept, I literally couldn't find a way of hiding the reference layer. There was a video on YouTube, which I'll, I'll put a link in the description just because it, you know, it helped me out, but uh, it just, there wasn't much explanation and there was music and the cursor was hidden. So I thought, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'd be able to make a more cohesive video. No disrespect to that person, but you know, it's just, uh, it, it felt like there could be a little more insight into the whole process and yeah. Uh, if there's anything else I can help you with in Clip Studio, if it's within my power, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I'm able to help you. But yeah, um, I really look forward to seeing your guys' time lapses and I hope you have a great day. Take care and see ya.